Hello, everyone. Howdy doody. Here we are in the barn. Yeah. Mercy and Truth Ministries. This is our newsletter update, January 2023 already. Wow. And what a journey we are on. Yeah, and we're hoping to do these newsletters more often, by the way. We keep saying that, but I think this year is going to be different. Um, mm -hmm. Hold us to it, okay? So. We're thankful for Jesus Christ and Him crucified the Holy Spirit who leads us and guides us, and we've chosen to live by that scripture in Psalm 127 where it says, unless the Lord build the house, those that labor, labor in vain. Yeah. So we are keeping our ear to the ground, our face fixed on Jesus, our eyes fixed on Jesus so we can hear his direction, his insight, his wisdom, because that's most important to us. We want his name to be glorified, and that's why we're here. That's right. And we wanted to let you know we've embarked on a 21-day fast starting January 9th uh -huh. to the 29th. And uh -huh. uh, some people are Daniel fasting or some people are going to water fast. Um, some people are fasting media. Um, we want to invite you to join us in that. Uh, we're going to have prayer. Uh, we, we already started it actually here in the barn certain nights of the uh -huh. week. And Jane's going to give you the reasons why we're fasting and the schedule of our prayer time. So you could come and join us if you want. Correct. Would you like me to read that paragraph? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Gary handed out a sheet to our local expression here Sunday morning, and this is what it reads. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit is leading us in 21 days of fasting and prayer as we prepare for what God has called us to do in our community in 2023 and beyond. We are praying for God to pour out his spirit in an unprecedented way. We are praying that as we step out with our tent ministry this spring, that God will fill our assembly with his presence and power. We are praying that lives will be changed, souls will be saved, bodies will be healed, young people to be radically saved, and that God would show up with his fire being released upon his people. As we behold the Lord, I want to read that phrase one more time, as we behold the Lord yes, yes. in prayer, so important to see him. We are asking that God would give us more power and authority to move in signs, wonders, and miracles, both mm -hmm. under the tent and outside the tent and wherever our feet will take us. We are praying for a sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. Yes. We are praying for the gifts of the Holy Spirit to begin to multiply in everyone's life and ministry. We are praying for our families, our neighbors, and our community for revival mm, absolutely. and an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm and that God would manifest himself in ways that only God can do. We are praying for further direction of the vision of the Good News Coffee House. This is what we believe yeah. God is wanting us to partner with him in and believe this is what he wants to accomplish in us and through us and to us. And if you're in the local area, Bon Terre, Deloge, Park Hills, um, we or invite you California. to pray with us. <laughs> We invite you to come pray with us. Um, Monday, we pray from 5 to 6. Wednesday, 1 to 3 p.m. Thursday, 6 to 7 p.m. And if you don't have a church family, come join us Sunday morning from 9 to 10 uh, a.m. And we uh, pray together then. And then we meet at 1030 as a, as a church and just worship and glorify his name and hear the word of the Lord. Now, we're located at 14 Northwood. That's one word, Northwood. 14 Northwood, Bon Terre, Missouri. It's spelled B-O-N-N-E and then T-E-R-R-E, -E, Missouri, mm -hmm. 63628 if you want to Google it on maps. And uh, we just would love to have you come visit and join with us to pray. Uh, this spring, we're going to have the tent set up right out here on the parking lot Yay. on this side. On the mm -hmm. back side is where the coffee house is going to be built. And if you watched our previous videos, you've seen the drone footage of that. And that's in progress. We've got the plans built, uh, below, <laughs> get the plans drawn up, not built. It'd be nice if it was built, but uh, yeah. we've got to get a storm water engineer out here and then we're gonna be moving on that. So a little bit more in, uh, on that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, the tent's going up in April. Uh, it's gonna be a place to gather for God's presence and his glory. And we're, people are gonna be coming from all around. We're going to have worship, prayer, there's going to be the presence of God. I believe there's going to be spontaneous moves of the Spirit happening under the tent where God releases his power, releases his Holy Spirit on certain individuals also. I believe it's going to be, uh, you know, right now we're in prayer and fasting for that mm -hmm. so that we could see God's glory come down. 
and we would like you to join us on that. So we'll keep you posted on that in the future newsletters. So um, let's see. Um, we're having a worship and praise night. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Coming up uh, on a Friday night, uh, January 20th, we meet for four hours from 5 to 9. And our intent is to behold this beauty. We love the scripture in Psalm, 20, Psalm 27 where David says, One thing have I desired, that I may behold his beauty, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever, that I may inquire in his temple. And if we don't give him first place in everything, then everything else tends to fall to vanity. And we want to hear him. We want to see him. So we take these four hours aside. We worship together. We seek the Lord together. We want to glorify his name. And then we believe that out of that obedience to him and loving him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, growing in that, that yes. then he will give us his plans, his purposes, his instructions, mm -hmm. his strategies. And that's what we're excited about because we know that God goes before us. And um, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we do hold those monthly, although um, over the holidays we didn't in December. Um, but um, we can be posting those for you as well. Those, we call them worship seeking nights because it's just a time to be before the Lord and hear him with our ear to the ground. Um, okay, let's go back to the coffee house. Yeah. Okay, uh, we've raised a little bit of money. We got a long way to go. But um, if you would like to help us with that, you can look at our previous videos about it um, on this email. If you get the email, you may just get the video. Uh, but on the email, there's some QR codes that you can donate through PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. And um, if you want to, you can send a check to Post Office Box 127, Bonterre, Terre, Missouri, 63628, and mark it for Coffee House. And it will go for the Coffee House Ministry, which is going to support missions with all the proceeds. So um, mm -hmm. other thing I wanted to do was invite you to our church. So if, if you don't have a church or if God's you know, directing you to another place, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, if God's, you're looking for a place that's a place where uh, people love God and the word of God is preached and taught and there's a fellowship, Mercy and Truth Ministries might be the place for you here. So our services are Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. We actually start at 1030, but we arrive for fellowship uh, early for coffee and stuff. And then on Wednesdays, we have six o'clock evening uh, services. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we hope to see you. So that's it for yeah, now. Yes. Have a wonderful January. Stay warm and keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. And let's, he's the let's, most pray, let's pray. Yes, okay? yes, so, Father, yes. we ask, Father, for everyone mm -hmm. watching that mm -hmm. God, you would bless them, Lord, mm -hmm. in the difficult times that many are in right now. We ask, mm -hmm. Father, for you to reach out, touch their hearts and touch their lives. Father, where there's pain, I pray that you would bring healing to that pain. Where there's sickness, you would bring healing to that sickness. Mm -hmm. Where there's emotional turmoil, I pray th that you bring peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you. See yes, you next time. Yes, we do.